The newest GMRS radio from Baofeng Tech or B Tech features Bluetooth programming, GPS location services, onboard FM radio, USB charging, and NOAA weather reception. Watch till the end of the video and I'll give you a word to put in the comment. That way I know you watched it until the end of the video and I will respond to all of those comments. Let's go. This thing is feature packed and we're gonna talk about it today. Thank you for joining the channel today. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB in the ham radio world, but in the GMRS world, I'm WRFK311. We talk about reviews, news, and how-tos of things that are new in two-way radio today. This BTEC GMRS Pro, I keep trying to say DMR, this BTEC GMRS Pro is really, really cool radio. It is an IP67 waterproof GMRS two-way radio with Bluetooth G uh, GPS app programming. I downloaded the app. We're going to get to look at that here in a second. GMRS repeater capable, like everything else is today. Okay. Dual band scanner receiver for VHF, UHF, and long range two way radio. Long range is subjective, but okay. 180 channels in this radio. So you can see pretty much everything on this screen here. Here's the radio itself at the top right corner of your screen. This is the Amazon page. It sells for about $155 at the time of this recording. They're readily available and in stock. I could get it delivered tomorrow to my QTH right now, to my location right now. I'm trying not to speak ham radio lingo. So there's your app. Download the app. So, okay, scan the QR code. The QR code is right there on Amazon. I'll put a link to this Amazon page in the description below so that you can guys can check that out. But we're going to put together this radio. It's got a 2600 milliamp hour battery on it. Pretty cool. Everything you see in the top right corner of your screen right now is what it comes with it comes with a really nice nifty manual here color manual plenty of information in this manual for you to go through and read up about comes with this usb programming cable actually it's a charging cable it says it's usb c charging so it's usb a to usb c so this will charge it but i think you can do some programming with it as well this thing it came with this is kind of neat this is a uh Phillips head on this end and a flat head on that end. I think I'm going to put that in my everyday pack and carry that with me everywhere I go. You can always use an extra screwdriver, especially something that's small and compact like that. So belt clip, you can see the very large screen on it here. And on the back of the radio here, a model is GMRS Pro, power is 5 watts, FCC ID. There's your serial number. And again, this is a 2600 milliamp hour battery, lithium iron pack battery, BP26. So the belt clip attaches to... The radio itself, I always like that because I don't like having to get extra belt clips if I have extra batteries. So if you had an extra battery, you just put it underneath the belt clip and go. And then it comes up to the GPS screen when you boot it up like that. I can zoom down on it to touch. It is a dark screen with a color, a white and colored text on the foreground. So I like that. That makes it easier to see in my book. I, I like these newer radios with that capability. No information for GMRS. There we go. FM radio. Got that there. Turn off. Okay. <laughs> this button on the bottom here brings up your menu. Signaling, radio settings, sound display pairing, NOAA. So you got NOAA weather already programmed in. Good. So... Sound settings, display, pairing, NOAA, GPS status, compass. Okay, that's the compass. Move your radio in a figure eight to calibrate the compass. Okay, well, I'll do that later. Status. Status tells you the battery level, 70%. That's how it came out of the box. That's pretty cool. Voltage is 7.8 volts, firmware version, and uh, part number, I guess, is PN. FM radio signaling, radio settings. Okay. Dual watch. Yeah, uh, yeah we'll turn that on. Dual watch means it will monitor two frequencies, top band and bottom band at the same time, and the first one to pipe up and say something, that's the one that gets priority. Power is high, channel group, GMRS, okay, select, it's good there. TX time limit, you can set your transmit time limit if you want to. PTT follow, not sure what that is. Talk Tail elimination. The scan feature there, talk around, means you can talk simplex without a repeater. Okay, had to tinker around with this and uh, read through the manual. The manual is actually very, very uh, detailed, very 
easy to understand, but there's a lot of information in there. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is changeable. This bottom part, that's telling me, my, that's my compass, obviously. That is no information. I, don't, I think that might be Bluetooth. I'm not sure what that is yet. This is teammate information for others that might be around you that can have this same radio. You can communicate with them via uh, data and text messaging, and you can see their location. And then we're back to the compass there. And then this 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 is your top and bottom end. So you're on GPRS, um, GP. I keep saying GPRS, GMRS 02 on the top. In order to change bands, change between top and bottom band, you pr press that button. To change channels, it's got these buttons on the side over here. So we're on GMRS 01 right now. If I press down, it goes to repeater 22, which is the last um, channel in the list. And we can press up on this button and down on this, the, the, the bottom button's down, the top button's up, obviously, and change channels that way. You see now we're on GMRSO6. And, ooh, there's some activity on that channel. Wow, that was loud. So there's that. You can turn it all the way down without turning it off, and the speaker goes quiet. A lot of these newer radios, you can't turn the volume all the way down and keep the the keep the screen on without turning the radio completely off so this one you can do that i like that that's a good feature in my opinion okay a better way to do this these buttons these buttons over here will control your channel up down by default out of the box or at least it did on this one but the manual also says the but these buttons are programmable so you can use them to change power change bands change whatever that kind of thing the easier way to do it i've found is if you press this top right button then you can use this large toggle button on the top of the screen to more quickly change channels because I was pressing this too fast and it thought I was long pressing it and I changed a bunch of stuff that I didn't want to change. So now you can go up to repeater uh, GMRS channel 22, which is your simplex, GMRS channel 22 simplex, and then you press up one more time and it starts on repeater channel 15 and it goes up through repeater channels 22 so 15 through 22 repeater channels and then 1 through 22 GMRS channels and you can of course do that on the top and bottom band so GMRS 1 there switch there you can go to the first repeater channel there right there and there you go and then you can exit out of that with the red button down here so that's the easiest way I found to change channels you can do it from this but if you end up reprogramming these then you won't need that so let's take a look at the app so BTEC GMRS I just searched the App Store for BTEC GMRS Pro, and that's how I found that. And I think we have to go into the menu here, not that one. Let's go into pairing. So we're going to turn pairing on. Ooh, you see that? It's popped up immediately. Yes, I want to connect that. That was pretty cool. Popped up so quickly. Okay, as soon as as soon as it as soon as the connection paired, pairing turned off by itself. That's fine. But I got prompted for a device firmware update I click OK it tells me this is what's going to change that's the new version 0.5.6 let's click on start it's definitely taking the allotted amount of time the screen on the radio dims but that's okay because it's you know it's still there it's still turned on and the screen on my phone keeps dimming and I, I haven't let it turn off yet like it just dimmed right there I haven't let the screen turn off yet I'm, I'm keeping this going it's at 28% 6 minutes still going we're just going to wait for it Said it would take about eight or nine minutes, and it was true to form. That's about how long it's been. I paused the camera in between here and there. Okay. Data transfer is complete. Do you want to continue the upgrade process? Device will reboot. Yes. Okay. Okay. There, it rebooted finally. Took about a minute. Update in progress. Comes back up as soon as the radio rebooted itself. Update is complete. There we go. Okay. So that takes a little bit of time, but okay is what it is. Now, this shows me right here what my top band and bottom band are on, which match the radio screen right there. Shows me my voltage. I think that I can hear the radio if there was uh, activity coming through the radio right now. I believe I'd be able to hear it on the phone, if I'm not mistaken. But okay, so if I click on this map here, it zooms down on my exact location. There we go. That's what it is. That's that's not my exact location. I moved it. <laughs> We're going to have to do some testing with this. I'm told that you can send text messages and data from radio to radio with this. Um, I watched a couple other YouTube videos where they were talking about that. And someone told me that you could not have a removable antenna on GMRS if it does data. Well, this antenna is completely removable. I don't know if that's true or not. Someone mentioned that. Someone says, oh, their antenna is removable, so it's illegal. And I'm like, 
no, you can have a removable antenna on GMRS. And they replied to me and they said, no, not if it does data, which is like text messaging and uh, GPS messaging and that kind of thing. So I'm like, well, okay, I don't know. They legally sell this on Amazon. These are made in China, but they're made by BTEC, which is a USA company, and it's completely part uh, part 95 certified. You saw the FCC stamp on the back. So this is a neat radio. Really liking the options and features on this radio. I like the fact that it interfaces with your phone. It will show you on the map where you are, of course. And if you have a buddy with this radio, that's in proximity, it will show you where he is. So you can create groups and whatnot and say, go here, go here, and you can see where everyone's located. So I'm gonna have to do some testing with that, which means I have to talk my, my hunting lease buddies into buying one of these radios. I don't, I don't know I don't know if they're gonna go for that or not, but <laughs> we're gonna try it and see. Let me know if you have one of these. Do you have one of these radios? What do you think about it? Have you used it? Have you used it in the field? I haven't used this in the field yet. I just don't unbox this and open it up. I'm gonna take it out to the hunting lease, so we're gonna use it in the field. But let me know what you think about it. Let me know what features you like best about it. Put a comment below. And also, your word of the day is GPS. Just make GPS your word of the day. So put GPS in the comments below. That way I know you watch to the end of the video. And check out these other videos over here about other GMRS radios and GMRS activities that are available to you now. Catch you next time.